Here we go. Yo. Yo, yo. What's up, homie? How are you? Good to hear, good to hear you, bro. <laughs> going on all right so let's just get right to it like no bullshit because i'm a little bit busy but anyway so my question to you was uh again like uh, let me just actually make it clear i'm not trying to prove that the earth spins it's a globe or is anything uh i actually hope that it is flat i just based on evidence i'm not sure that it is and i don't understand why people are so dogmatic about it so my question to you would be if what you're saying is true that the earth is flat and outer space is real why would J.P. Morgan, the former the, the banker or whatever, why would he make the claim to a news reporter that, uh, what's it called, um, that millionaires don't use astrology but billionaires do? That doesn't seem so, like, you know, he you knows something that he doesn't is? want the public to know. Okay, we'll break it down real quick. Astro, meaning stars, yeah. and ology, meaning the study of. So all astrology is, is the study oh, right. of the stars. No flat earth okay. claims that the stars do not exist. So right. therefore, I don't care who you heard it from. That's not. No, what I have I'm heard that. Say. I've, I've heard that from a few. Real flat earth that's what I mean. Right. Everybody can look up a TV spot. <laughs> okay, but hold on. Before you go any further, though, the people that are saying that it's a globe, they don't have all these different assumptions yeah, about what they it's think it's all There's one not, like, propaganda globe, indoctrination like, like we've been real, fed the exact same story that's wrong. been curtailed by scientists scientists for as long as that story's been around whereas flat earthers are having to actually push the envelope and figure out the answers themselves instead of accepting what's already been laid out for them that's why but Hasn't the flat Earth model been like this? Isn't something no, that you discovered by it. like it's scientific simple. methods? Like, you got this much from like the Bible or some other place, didn't you? No, but originally I when you first proof. heard about it, I you, saw a ship go over the curve. You heard about it from somewhere, You know what right? I mean? Like disappear. A camera had it and it disappeared. And Bill Nye and all the other science priests say that when that happens, when the ship goes over the horizon, yeah. it's because it's gone beyond the imaginary yeah. curve. Now, if that were true, once that ship disappears, there would be no way to see it again with a zoom. Right. But the fact of the matter is, after it disappears, you can right. zoom in on it, which but, uh, means that no but, curve is in front of it. And that actually helps explain how our perspective works. The zoom increases the distance from you to your vanishing point, which then brings the ship back right. into view. Ships disappear over the horizon because the horizon is the termination of your vision. And that's pretty much what happened. Right, but you, but I'm not trying to prove that the Earth is. You, yeah, I that's know, but you asked me a I'm question not about to that. You keep saying that I'm proving it. I know, and I just answered it. You asked me I'm why did you do that. it? Did you use a scientific you method? Yeah, because here's believe, the two like possibilities. Possible. If a ship goes over the curve, it's not going to be able to be brought back into view by a zoom camera yeah. because it's behind the curve. And the fact of the matter is, you can bring it back because it's not behind the curve. Right, but I'm not arguing for a curve. <laughs> Just, but I'm not arguing the for question you just asked. You see what I mean? Like, You're all right trying to put words in my mouth. the scientific like, method that I use, and I gave you an example of the scientific well, yeah, method I, that I anybody wanted to know where, what you're to prove that the curve isn't what... Was... I, I, no, I asked, I asked, I didn't ask you for the scientific no, method. You, I asked you, you where you that I was believing, the flat but I told you that, yeah, no, I used science and the scientific method to determine whether or not it was true or Oh, we know that. We're very... Yeah, well, I'm not like this that. man of everybody science or anything either. Like like you said, I'm not like a materialist. Trying to like figure things out. Well, do you, do you have an example of what you mean or are you just going to generalize? Well, I was going to... Yeah, because you just don't... Examples, like, I do there's no logic time. to anything you say. But what I'm trying to do is answer your question. If I do it all the time, minutes. like... If I do it all the time, like you're saying, you'd have lots of examples to give me. No, I'm just saying, if you, if you say I don't use ever, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I don't ever use science, uh, and I do this all the time, being yeah, I do it all the time, you should not be able to like cite I, multiple I, I literally three times when I posted this, a okay? graphic that shows you how the zodiac overlays over the flat earth and how the sun wrote. But that's not what I asked. I didn't ask that. I asked why J.P. Brother, I asked why J.P. Morgan would allude to a, a, new, a, a newspaper reporter that millionaires don't use astrology, but billionaires do. 
that doesn't include the flat earth. I'm not arguing for a curve. I'm asking if outer space isn't real like you're saying, why would JP Morgan, one of the richest, most powerful people that ever lived, allude to that saying that millionaires don't use it because they don't know, but billionaires do to use it to their advantage? You don't think that's a good example of some like, like that basically is saying, real, Justin. Yeah, no, like we, we're not saying real. that's you know where I mean? you have like the disconnect. See, the fallacy in your mind is you think that astrology proves that the heliocentric model in space is real. It does not. Astrology. No, you I'm not arguing, arguing for that. Arguing, I'm arguing, no, no, you don't even understand what I'm arguing, brother. I'm saying that... No, 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 no. I'm making the point that if outer space... I don't care about the shape of the Earth. I hope it is flat. I'm saying if outer space isn't real like um, most of the flat Earth people are saying, then why would a guy allude to the fact that not only is it real, You're but mixed, you have a fallacy because you believe that astrology is I mean, outer is that space. Not a clear that is the fallacy. Of See, when I say you have dumb questions, it's because there's fallacies in them. You think that astrology proves outer space. It does not. And that is why D.P. Morgan can allude to the fact that astrology is real and have that what not prove outer space. And in fact, I provided you with a graphic that shows the zodiac over the flat earth, the pizza slices, and how if the sun does rotate around the flat earth and the sidereal stars rotate as well at a different rate, that's actually geometrically how the zodiac works. A zodiac does not work with random space planets. Hey, don't worry about me. I'm in the middle of a great. I'm in the middle of smashing your question. I'm not, I'm not worried about how it so works. Like, so bro, no, 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 come on, dude. I'm in the middle of smashing your question. You gotta let me answer. Because, because so like you think so like, uh, the, the astrology, the the Western or the Eastern astrology makes absolutely no sense with outer space. Because how can the sun be in front of constellations? And how can constellations even conceptually stop? Hang on, my time. My thought, you, you, dude, you're interrupting. That's but not I'm cool. not arguing that it is. Like, that's what I mean. Been the same. Constellations have been the same. Since because you're misrepresenting history. what I'm saying. In I the heliocentric model, they claim that the Earth has six separate motions, a rotation, a revolution around the sun, the sun revolving around the solar system, and the solar system revolving around the galaxy. And then all stars are allegedly doing all of this. Now, if that were the case, there would be parallax, which is the diff. So when you're driving past a mountain and there's a mountain further in the distance, Hang on. Yeah, I know you don't care about the truth, but I'm here to just destroy your question. I don't, I don't care about any of this stuff. This is what I asked. But, but you did not destroy. My question was why would J.P. Morgan allude to that? I'm not asking for the, the like how it works. I'm not asking you how it works and where this star does and what spins. I'm no, asking I'm why J.P. Morgan that, would say you that. that. You think that it, you see what it, I mean? You think that astrology is real? I'm not asking how it works. That is the fallacy in your thing. That's why you're. That's why you're asking this question about J.P. Morgan. It's no, so that's, not what I, that's not you what I said. If, I'm asking like J.P. Morgan. Because the problem Morgan, is real, but, but it I'm doesn't prove like the heliocentric model, model, so it means nothing. I'm not saying that it is real or it works. But I didn't say that he was, it did. He was, I'm he asking you what you think J.P. Morgan's intentions were. Look, were. astrology uh, is see, That's what I, I mean. That's why you're not listening to what I'm saying. I actually do my own astrology. But what you you think that that somehow Great. disproves the flat earth. Because in the Before you asked the question, you were like, flat earth, there's the pirate Justin, it's in your no, post. No, no, see, get, get again, you're being dishonest. I didn't say that this proves the flat like, earth. No, I'm stop. Let me, talk, let me talk now. Let me talk now. Let me talk now. I, no, I didn't say that it disproves <laughs> the flat earth. You're not letting me talk. Dude, you're not letting me talk. Bro, you're not letting me talk. I'm not saying that it disproves the flat earth. But it doesn't but come with the idea, that, with this idea that, that outer space does exist. You're inserting that balance. And if it doesn't exist, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. You're cutting me off. You're cutting me off. I just you don't want me to ask like a question because you know you can't answer it. All you know is you, you can't answer it. And you just can't answer people answering No, you didn't. When people, okay. No, you didn't. Uh, why would you? Jay, very now, J.P. Morgan. Why would J.P. Morgan allude to that? I'm not saying it's true. I'm not saying it's real. I'm not saying it's works. about the reality of astrology. But the reality of astrology, Morgan, not only does it not conflict with a flat earth, as well as does not prove outer space, but it's geom astrology in the zodiac is but geometrically congruent over top of a flat earth. Astrology supports the flat earth model. So my question to you is, if the astrology supports the flat earth cosmology, then why would J.P. Morgan allude right. to the astrology if it's just real? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll say something. I'll say something you never will. I don't know enough about astrology to, to say yes or no. no I just listen, don't know. I'm I don't have all right the now. answers. You ask questions why I ask that are supposed to have, they're like rhetorical you questions. Like, the whole, you, you set up these questions 
that have fallacies in them that try no, to they're No, they're not. No, they're not. That's what I'm asking why there are crater impacts if there's a dome is not a rhetorical question. That's not a rhetorical question. If, if, okay, if there's a dome above us oh, and there no. are crater so impacts, now your question my changed. question well, is, somebody answered that on your thread and comments, you, which I know serve. it's a different question, and somebody already answered it on your thread. No, that's a different it's question. Called, that's that's a different question. Every I have single culture questions. has records of plasma okay, discharge. Okay, here now on talk camera. about Why? Zeus and, the, and the, the, the god of thunder, whether you talk about Ragnarok and Norse mythology, whether you talk about the thunder, the thunder planes that began reality, some people think things started like that. And plasma discharge from an electrified okay. firmament. Let me answer the question. You can't answer. Okay, questions. what about? Hold on. Okay, what about, what about the dad, Adonis, Alcides, Baal, Crete, Dave, Tot, Dionysus, Edos, Horus, Indra, Krishna, Mithra, Odin, Osiris, Prometheus, Quetzal, Zulam, and Ra? They all have the plasma discharge. I never heard about that. When the the firmament discharges electricity, we see lightning. That happens all the time. Nobody disputes the existence of lightning. So essentially, all all craters are are just right. really big lightning bolts right. that smash and burn and melt through the earth. And there's all sorts of stuff on there. Uh, new question. So that's two well, questions. Okay, how come you, okay, how come you, okay because the crater three. impacts have been caught. Hold on. No, 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 you didn't. Bro. No, but like no, you, you responded. Answers. You didn't That's answer. Why answer. You, you can say, you can ask me, Justin, what do you want for dinner? You can you say, Justin, what do you want for dinner? And I can say, you don't say, refute the answer. Door. You just move to a new question. That's because it's answered. Bullshit. No, 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 bullshit. No, no, hold on. Okay. So so you're claiming that that lightning caused the crater impact next to the Grand Canyon. That's what you're saying? Hold on. That's what you're saying. Okay, to be be clear. You're telling me that the crater plasma impact discharge. next to the Grand Canyon was done by lightning and not not a an asteroid. That's the technical okay, term for lightning. Plasma di that so lightning or what's the difference? Okay, this so lightning the caused the, the crater impact no, next to the Grand Canyon. That. That's you what you're arguing. Because there's no evidence of lightning that. Lightning blows really? up all the time. It's literally concentrated fire really? energy. It can destroy anything in large quantities. Do you know how big, bro? It's enormous. No, Have man, you seen I've trees seen lightning. I've trees. never seen a crater it's impact like left by lightning. Scale. Dude, human beings have survived lightning impacts. Nobody is going to survive the impact next to the Grand Canyon. You're not telling the truth, brother. That's what I mean. There's crater impacts that are actually so dated older than humanity. Older than humanity. So, yeah, so I'm asking you're if there's a dome above us, how do the asteroids exist? and comets get through That's the That's all you're doing. How? And then you're assuming that they cause the, the crater impact. Shooting stars I've and asteroids so, and comets are two stars different myself. things. I've seen shooting Lights stars myself. Lights in the sky do not equal heliocentric globe. Not stars. really. Barely. Things falling in the sky do not equal space debris coming into the atmosphere. Well, I've, right? I've, That's the problem. Fallacy after fallacy after fallacy. Disconnect after disconnect I've after seen disconnect. I've stuff flying so around you know in what space. Mean? You chain together these disconnected ideas and you think it's an answer. No, I don't know what you mean. No, I'm asking. You're claiming that you know definitively that lightning caused the crater impact. Uh, that's yeah, enormous. Have you ever seen like lightning destroy? Do you have any evidence? Lightning can destroy. Or Earth. Or you just want that's it to be that? totally nobody is Where's disputing your that. Lightning can't destroy Earth, so people don't get struck by lightning. No, it die. can't. No, it can't. Lightning can't destroy Earth. No, it can't. So okay, show me, show me in the last five hundred years. You show me any last specific place years. where well, lightning buried, left a crater impact anywhere on Earth. I challenge you to show me that evidence because there is none. Because it's not from lightning, bro. Human beings survive lightning. People have got hit by lightning. Nobody is going to survive dude, a crater impact. That no, dude, you're just you're not being honest, and I am. Again, I don't have all the answers. I'm not no, arguing I'm not. for a globe totally model, but you're just making what you want up years, as you go bro. along. Like, again, let, let me get to the Vatican question. The va okay, why does the Vatican have the biggest telescope on Earth? Why does the Vatican I'm, have I'm, the I biggest mean, telescope on Earth named after the thing they want to find the least? Why? Why? If outer space isn't real, why does the Vatican have the biggest telescope? The people with the least best the, the telescopes least best are meant to observe the, the sky. Thing to prove it. Because why? you can observe why? the sky does not mean that the heliocentric theory of what that sky is is true. I, exactly. I don't need a telescope to do that. Know, I don't need a telescope to observe the sky. I'm looking up at it right neither, now. You don't know. No neither neither telescope needed. That why do they have a telescope? The biggest telescope. Okay. No one does. So, that, so if that's the whole point. That answers your question. You're right. Your I initial can't. question about right. J.P. Morgan I, I, I citing that. astrology I, right. as being something that billionaires use assumes, this is the undertone of the question that makes it disingenuous. It assumes incorrectly 
that astrology somehow proves outer space. It doesn't. In fact, it's geomet stop, stop, don't. It's geometrically congruent over okay, a flat what earth. Is the proof and the flat earth model actually geometrically makes sense. There's an app you can download where you can watch time lapse of how the sun moves over the flat earth and how it. Well, why, why are, are you asking the sun? Are you I thought we were the talking about astrology in, are there proves outer space. That saying? was the initial question. Well, you're claiming that outer space isn't real and outer space isn't real. So I'm asking the stars that I can see in the sky, which completely goes along with my question. What are they doing in there? And why are some further away than others? And if they're lodged question number into the five. firmament, right, so what are shooting stars questions. that We're I can see number five. myself? And look. <laughs> okay. yeah, incorrectly. You, you just respond. You, that would be like me asking you, like, hey, I think, Tommy, I think what do you want for dinner? Like say, cars now. backwards, double dragon. I think we're at 10 now. That, that's not an answer. Much, it's a response. Dude, it's so not the look, same thing. The whole point of your main question is that J.B. Morgan believes astrology so that a hip wise person will understand that astrology makes sense. But then here's where right. the problem comes. You believe that that somehow vindicates the existence of outer space when it doesn't. Exactly. And see, that's the problem. It does not. Astrology has yes, existed correct. before. What is, Hang on. Astrology and the prediction of the planet. Which is your evidence the that it does? Of the lights in the sky. You're and the breaking up. I can't hear you. Has been done it's breaking up. Before and can be done without any sort of heliocentric space bullshit. All right? It's just all you got to do is look up and track them. That's it. That's all you got to do. So it does not prove in any way that they are in space or balls of gas or any of that. That is the fallacy that makes your question disingenuous. What do you mean you can't see the dome? Well, how come I right can't see the dome above me? I, I can't see it's the dome, right but I can't see the stars. There. Based on what I know, the the, the, the the historical space thing makes a lot more sense when I just look up, then there's a dome above me. How come I never saw the sun Listen to this. Kind of yeah, weird, this don't is, it? Like, ever look question glass number six. How so, on six now. Up, you know? so how come it doesn't reflect anything? Check this out. You cannot produce a rainbow. Hey, let me answer your sixth question. All right? You cannot produce a rainbow indoors without a glass prism. That's the only way you can get a rainbow to appear indoors. Oh, we're getting yelled at by this lady because I'm yelling at you, bro. Are, you, you know that so, definitively right, there's nothing else If you can't produce a rainbow that. inside without a glass prism, what provides the glass prism for rainbows that we see outside? The answer is the dome, the firmament. Sixth question answered. You know that definitively, though, that there's the only way to, you know that for sure. Because I'll admit, I don't but know that much about rainbows. But if That's I look into thing. it and I find counter evidence, I'm going to bring that up. You know what I mean? See, like, I'll admit when I don't know something. You just make oh, up okay, what you want, like, like the lightning impact. That's one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. You think lightning is Dude, it's the same subject. Yes, it is. Dude, you can have you all seen these crater impacts? They had capacity. Have you seen these crater impacts? All right. This is an example of electricity destruction. Right, show me. Shit. Show me any example of what you're talking about. Show me any example anywhere on the planet. Are you going to let me answer your seventh question? We're Where? on question show me. number show seven, me. all right? We're you're making all these claims, seven. but you don't have any you're evidence asking, to back How can electric plasma discharge destroy things like Earth? Well, back in New York, when they... Somebody... No, I do. no, 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 that's I'm not what I asked. How they would cause a crater so impact. You can just See, yet again, you misrepresented me and then you label it as like, a question. You know, like and everybody correct, was you watching wrong, is objectively sir. understanding that your questions are being answered. And then when you deny it, it just makes that? it look silly. That's why I wanted you to come on here so that it could be obvious for everybody. There's one person so, watching. <laughs> you got any more questions? I did seven in a row. Well, share. You, I know. Share, you see what happened. Like, again, I'm not even telling you you're wrong. I'm just asking questions. You know, it just seems like you just seem to... I don't have the answers, but I know... Incorrectly, though, that, that you're Correctly, wrong, that's you're wrong about the crater. the way you talk about how people answer your questions is laced with fallacies. And, like, yeah. the whole point is... No, that's, is. Whole, that's all Globe's got is fallacies. You need fallacies to no, that, that's just alive, a use, that's not that's a reality. Okay, so... So, so right. okay, Carl. So they, you explain because they want to the Vatican the has a bigger telescope on because Earth. Because they want to look up right now. It's, you it's, think it's, that, it's like the size of a building. Why do they need that much power to see that far out there? Hmm? Why do they need all that power? I could just look up now. Because I don't they want to observe the so sky. The that have means a telescope proves the nor disproves anything. Okay. Make up what you want. No, right? it doesn't. It doesn't. 
No, it proves it. It proves it. It proves. It. If, if I see somebody, if, if listen, if there's somebody ne dead, dead next to me, and I see somebody standing next to them with a smoking gun, that's a very good example of that. Protesters might be guilty and might be a suspect. So I'm asking you, if the Vatican, the people that have the most vested interest in keeping the flat Earth bottle going, why did it's they not a have the biggest gun. smoking gun? Using a lens to, to magnify the that. lights you in the sky do does not prove that they are gaseous balls floating in space. There is your fallacy. Eight question answer. Eight. And didn't say yeah, that, I didn't say answer. that it did. I don't know didn't what say it that it did. You didn't answer. answer the question. No, no, you're saying it. Right I didn't say they were gaseous balls. Didn't say they were gaseous balls. I'm asking you why these people would have because the biggest telescope. That's the, the biggest smoking gun it in history. Why? The if they model, want to populate the flat Earth, why do they have the biggest problem? Then why are you asking the question? Didn't say that it did. Didn't say that it did. You're disingenuous. You I'm not arguing for a flat earth. I'm asking you them. questions about so what you believe. So I'm dissecting each just one making up and pulling each fallacy out. Like, That's all. Lightning, oh, there's the fallacy. The, the there's the Grand fallacy. Canyon impacts. Uh, after eight well, questions, listen, 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 I got to go and cook a dinner and stuff like that. What else? <laughs> it's okay. Eight questions is good. I'll I told you it. I was in a rush. Look, I told you I was in a rush. Uh, yeah, please out, tell Larkin we'll, that we'll pick this up another day. We'll pick it up another day, all right? More it would be good. It would yeah, be I will. Uh, absolutely. We I'd love to watch that. that. Honestly, I would. But uh, let me go, all right? <laughs> we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll catch you on the news feed. <laughs> Jeez,